right, welcome to Mrs. Dill's YouTube video math lesson on triangle fact families. My students have all taken home a set of 32 triangles in a plastic Ziploc baggie. This is an example of an enlarged fact triangle. I've chosen the fact family of 12, 5, and 7 for this demonstration. The largest number is always at the top of the triangle and it's designated with a large dot. In the center, you'll notice a plus, a comma, and then the minus sign. When I cover up one of the bottom corners of the triangle, this makes for several possibilities. The students can think about what they know about addition. Seven plus something equals 12, or they can think about something plus seven equals 12, or if you wanna expose your student to an algebraic principle, they can think about what the missing number is over in the corner for subtraction. 12 take away something equals seven, or 12 take away seven equals something. This works by covering up the opposite side of the triangle as well. Here's what that would look like with the actual size triangle. I can cover up this corner, this corner, or the top. I'm also encouraging the kids to practice actually writing the equations on the back of the fact triangle. For example, using our same triangle with the 12, 7, and 5, there would be four number models or equations, as we call them, written on the back. 12 take away 5 equals 7. 12 take away 7 equals 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. And 5 plus 7 equals 12. Remember, there is a set of 32 of these triangles, so don't try to tackle them all in one sitting. Sort through the 32 triangles and ask your child to pick two or three each day to work on. So to review, we're studying the triangle fact families for addition and subtraction. Remember a fact family is composed of three numbers. A fun language arts fact about triangles is that the prefix tri T-R-I stands for three. Thanks for watching Mrs. Dill's YouTube video math lesson on triangle fact families. Remember, if you have a YouTube account, feel free to leave your comments.